Kiss with a 5.3 and 1340. We're hip hop and RB live today, party with your boy DJ D Soul. Y'all, we have a special interview today. We got some people from Cut Close Barbershop in the building Carlos, Rico, Shawanda. Uh, we appreciate y'all being there. Y'all doing okay? Yeah, we're doing fine. Right. Thanks for having us, sir. Man, we really appreciate y'all being in the building. Tell us a little bit about Cut Close Barbershop. What do we expect uh, at Cut Close? Well, uh, we do an old school touch for a new school haircuts. Um, I mean, we just, we just, the barbershop, <laughs> the old barbershop. We've been, uh, we've been, uh, I've been cutting for 17 years. Uh, I'm the owner. Uh, I've been doing, been doing this thing for a long time. Uh, been up in Arkansas and, uh, been open and cut clothes for what, 13, 14 years. So how did you get started? How did you first get into cut? Um, what made you uh, open up your own shop? Um, well, I had some issues and stuff like that with uh, a couple of barbers around, so I just decided to uh, open my own barbershop, and from then on, it was all. Straight <laughs> up, right? yeah. I'm with that. Uh, so I heard that y'all give uh, back to the community. Y'all involved in the community, so can you tell us a little bit about that? Some stuff that y'all have done, or something that you're planning right now? Uh, yeah, we we, we um, every year we do back to school. I think we yeah we even did the COVID year. You know, for those days that still want to participate in that. So um, I've been here since 2013. Okay, I didn't came been here with them for the whole time since I moved here. I'm from Missouri, Missouri native, you know, St. Louis, born, who be a raise, you know, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I mean, him kind of locked in there since then, had a little bumps over the road, but that's that's what any that's what any partnership, you know what I'm saying, business ship or whatever, but still in our hands strong. Ten years in January. I love you, man. Black Ben is still rocking. Uh, involved in the community. Uh, anything else besides the bank bank giveaway? Anything y'all planning on this year? Or y'all just uh, that? We plan. I plan on doing a customer appreciation picnic uh, um, sometime in the next month or so. Uh, we also do the uh, what do you call it? Uh, Santa for Christmas. Christmas yeah. Santa. Uh, for the kids, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. we we cut close workshop was founded and built upon the kids, so okay. that's that's what we motivated ourselves to. That's what we cater to. We cater to families, uh, children, uh, just everyone. Like that, we get everybody in every now and then. Um, I like the vibe. I just think the chemistry in the shop is like none other. You know what I'm saying? We. Like I say, we bump here sometimes, but the vibe, the energy, it always brings us back to square root and get that bread. I hear that. Yeah, but that's these people out here. I hear that. So break down the barbershop floor, man. I'm an old head, y'all. I'm, I'm bald and I do my own hair. So I, all I know about the old barbershops I grew up with. You know what I'm saying? There's just one guy in there cut. Yeah. So what do y'all do with y'all barbershop? Somebody don't know. Even from uh, ethnicity, y'all know everybody. Yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? So you can bring your dog in there. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. <laughs> So we keep up with all the new school things, you know. We get, we get the old school touch with the new, with the old school cut with the new school touch. You know what I'm saying? So we kind of keep it. We don't try to get lost in the sauce, get too far behind. You know, we try to keep up to date with all the latest fashion, hairstyles, and all of that. So we, we pretty much anybody coming there, keep it up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm rocking with that. Uh, tell us about your location uh, and time for you. Um, we are at uh, 3110 North Market Avenue, uh, right next to Rich's Meat Market and okay. Plato's Closet. Okay. Um, that's where you at? And that's that's where we at. Uh, we are open from 9.30 to 6.30. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Monday through Friday and Saturday from 9 to 5 o'clock. And Shamar, I see you don't want to talk. <laughs> we'll talk about uh, all the hair y'all do. So y'all do y'all do women's hair uh, as well? Yes. It's okay. crazy that she don't want to talk. <laughs> I know. So I'm not going to make you talk. I do everything. I'm a loctician. Okay. By trade. You need your locks done, come see me. I got you from wigs, locks, um, micro locks, 
Sister locks. Got you do natural it hair. Okay. I do braids. Okay, I got it. I do some weeds for you girls. Want to look good? Got you. <laughs> so money, you do it all. <laughs> we appreciate that. And uh, before we let y'all up out of here, uh, tell us one thing. It's a whole bunch of barbershops. What's different about Cut Close? What, what makes y'all stand out? It's the feel, man. It's the it's the family atmosphere. You know what I'm saying? When you get when you get people in there from other ethnicities who really ain't, you know, they. When they leave out of there smiling, they come in from, <laughs> from the joke, they don't feel they don't feel like they was, you know what I'm saying, isolated or out of place, not only right. took care of out of place, like you see, you yeah. know what I'm saying? We make we try to make everybody feel welcome and comfortable in there. So when you got that key to success, you know, that's usually what takes the barbershop to the next level. You keep your clientele going and on people don't run away, they keep they come. Y'all cut close barbershop once again. Let us know the location before we get around here. One more time. Uh, 3110 North Market Avenue, uh, Fayetteville, Arkansas, 72703. Right next to the Richest Meat Market and uh, Plato's Closet. Come see us. All right. We appreciate y'all being here. Y'all make sure to stick around and y'all go to cut close barbershop. This is Kick 105.3, 3840.